All right, I'm going to try to do a new series this spring. I think I'm going to call it The Garden. And uh, unlike the last two years, I'm going to try to get a little bit serious about my garden to share. So that's the main thing. And then it'll just be a bunch of small videos, like uh, where I'm going to put certain plants in the bed, where am I going to plant them. Maybe do I take care of the weeds, do I not tackle the weeds, we'll see how my health holds out. And they'll just be a bunch of videos, but the, every title is going to be The Garden, and then I'll put a description which separates what I'm doing. But I was going to plant some stuff already, but uh, it's been too cold and windy. I'm just barely starting to feel good now. I'll try to plant some Swiss chard. First time this year, which i got to get it in the ground the next couple of weeks. I'm thinking maybe my health holds out good, maybe this Sunday, a week from now. Cucumbers, radishes, peas, and never grew this before. Cauliflower, I think. So I'll try that. And then we'll see how that goes. After five days off, you think I'd feel better. And I do, but my knee's still hurt, and this is going to be annoying as shit. Let's go do something with the beds, but. Good lord, look at this stupid grass. I got grass everywhere but the damn beds. I need to get them all cleaned up. I don't think it's going to happen. I don't know what I'm going to do about all this grass. Because it gets way unruly. Alright. Okay, so I found something that would work for me. Um, basically, this is weed and grass killer. I forgot I had it. Fast acting for the results at 12 hours. It's got a bunch of stuff in it. It won't harm the veggies. And actually, when you look at the instructions right here, because I just read it on the inside manual, it said for garden bed preparation. So I think I got this at Walmart. So I think I'm going to buy some more Friday after work and make, <clears throat> I get off work at Walmart. That's good, and luckily this here's a, it's one ounce per gallon, and this here completely full is two gallons. If I remember right, this is 16 fluid ounces. So I think, one, two, three, four, five, six. So I think one ounce, I think two of these bars right here. It'd be two ounces, and then you mix it with water, and that would be enough to do it all. So apparently, I didn't have enough. I had enough to spray one bed pretty good, and I only filled it up to there. So obviously, it wasn't enough. But uh, it'll be enough to weaken it till, I, till Saturday. Maybe after work, I could get back to it and spray it correctly. So at least I found my solution to hoeing or rototillering or putting Roundup. It's called an eliminator. So that'll work real good, and then I did buy some, I got my okra for summer, the plant in May, spineless okra, that'll be a May crop, these here are all my cold weather crops though, peas, radishes, Swiss chard, cucumber, I think I'm going to put the Swiss chard and radishes, and my garden bed I call Tiny's Place. The cucumbers back where the jalapenos were last year. Now I should put them in the big bed. On the collar flower and then maybe I could put... I'll put something else in that one. But I'll show you where I sp sp uh, sprayed and then I got this little greenhouse thing. Hold on. This is what I'll be planting my seedlings in tomorrow. Alright. So I got one bed. Done. Oh, I'll spray it again. Two days, actually, like I said. We'll actually see how it goes. I can't tell now. I only sprayed it five minutes ago. It's supposed to rain later tonight, so. It'd definitely be enough to make the grass sick. Just to start weakening it. Anyway. So the seedlings will take two to three weeks before they're out, which is perfect. 
Alrighty. Oh boy. Alright, well, I'm gonna add water to these today. Oh boy. Pallets to there expand. I'm gonna plant some of these seeds and decide which seeds to plant. So, where's my water? So, we'll get back to you when they're planted. So 36 pellets, so we have, um, I want to add these two. So this is one, two, three, four, five. So seven. Yeah. Basically we have seven uh, pellets per thing. Be about 14 seeds a piece. So let me go ahead and tr uh, plant those real quick. I won't show that, it's pretty basic, so. Okay, one little trick I did is I divided these up, and you have to put the seeds below the peat moss. Not all of them will make it. That's why I put four or five. I'll thin them out later, but I need to get a marker. I'm going to work to mark across the top what each row is. See, that's divided one, two, three, four, five. You always put it on the same way so you know, because otherwise I don't know by looking at them when they're little. Maybe like a cream bee or pea, but most of them. I'll put this on. And uh, so I got them up here so I know what they are when I can label them when I put the lid on. And uh, when I sprayed that yesterday, it made the grass a little bit sick. But I did find the good stuff here. The, exactly the same stuff. And tomorrow night I'll go ahead, because it's supposed to rain tonight. Tomorrow night I'll go ahead and spray the beds. Mix it up correctly and get all the beds sprayed right. <coughs> I'm going to add some more water to this tray. Put the lid on, then label it, and then mix up the stuff. Okay. Okay, it's the end of the first week. I got, uh, these haven't germinated yet. Of course, it hasn't been seven to ten days. But I do need to move them inside. I did get them all labeled, which is nice. I gotta get these inside. This here should have had really good luck. And I've used three-fourths of the bottle, and it hasn't. My sprayers aren't working correctly. I looked on YouTube and uh, took them apart, used silicone lube and all that. Just still doesn't seem to do the trick. So I just kind of gave up and started pouring it directly in the ground. But uh, the beds are really disappointing. I mean, I only got a couple more weeks before I got to start planting stuff. So I'm kind of getting worried. I don't have a rototiller, which is what I really needed. I don't have the money to run a rototiller out. As you can see, I sprayed that stuff on three days in a row, and it really didn't do anything. It slightly tinged the grass yellow, and that's about it. And I raked it up and hoed a little bit, tried to get the ground uh, soft and broke up. That's just a solid pa patch of grass. It's about impossible to break out. What I don't want to do is plant my vegetables and then have grass taller than the vegetables, and it'll look like a nightmare this year. That's why I mowed over them last year and gave up. So you're really disappointed. I mean, I guess I can <clears throat> hoe it a little bit each day, and maybe for 10 minutes each day, five minutes of bed, try to break it up. Next week, I really wish I had the energy to uh, saw this up, get it out of here, and rake it. And then mow it down. That's where my two tire ponds are going to go. This big bed here is just a mess. Because it's solid cloth under here. I don't know if you can see that or not. But the weeds just grew right through that fabric. So yeah, I don't want this to be a big weedy mess again this year. So that's the end of the first week. Hopefully the second week goes better for me. <clears throat> okay.